Yeah, Lowry's pretty annoying. You, you have to be very careful with how you trade with her early, like in terms of like making sure you position in a way to where you're not just getting hit by her E constantly or what. But if her E's down, you can look to trade with her pretty aggressively. <clears throat> Let's do it though. Behind Winions, something like that, yeah. No, it's just like the assault on Glory. You see one artillery vanguard in a commando fleet action. <laughs> Alright, let's let's do it. We're out of placements now. And yeah, we're against an Emerald Four Gregus this game. So it goes. <laughs> no, not Gregus. I'm all for a lot. I think Gregus. Oh, it's because we're talking. My, my brain's like so broken. Help me top. <laughs> so is he here then? Yeah, I like it is, the, is this little rat guy over here? Let's see. Time to investigate. He's not even there. Damn, this guy baited me. He caught me. Unless they're invading his red. I mean, they could be invading his red unironically. But, like, that'd be really troll. Yeah, okay, nah. I was gonna say, that's, like, so weird, like, troll to be doing. He probably has W. Yeah. That's fine, though. The whole goal here, level 1, is to just trade at them a bit without, like, dismounting. Wait, this guy went Conqueror instead of Grasp. Interesting. That's actually really good for me early, then. I can just bully him. I gotta cancel an auto. Oh, I actually got hit by that. But yeah, him going Conqueror makes it so it's a lot easier to land. Grasp is what makes the lane really annoying early with the auto Grasp W procs. I'm getting hit by a lot of Tentacle Slims, though, which is kind of troll. He's gonna have E now. Oh, I'll actually dismount him now. Oops. Whatever, I just play for level 3 and I can kill him. I need a space in a way to where I can look for autos without actually getting hit by the Alawi E. Oh my god, I missed Cannon. Nice. I am kind of trolling though, I'm not gonna lie. I should be playing this better. Ah, oh, fuck. I'm trolling. I got hit by way too many tentacle slams in that. I played that so bad. What I mean, honestly, not the worst though, because we both have no flash now or TP. But, like, it's not the end of the world because the way's bouncing into me, so I can kill her again now. But I just shouldn't be getting hit by all these things. Usually I'm pretty good at sidestepping them too. So honestly, I don't know what's wrong with me right now. I saw a decent movement to just fuck with him there. Even though I'm like on top of him, I just move in the way, or space in the way to where it's like, oh shit. How can I hit this? And now we can just do that. Since it's Alawi's E is down, I can look for that because I had double longsword. I can just fight in the wave here, even though I wasted my Q, I should be fine. And just like that, we're just chilling now. I kinda griefed that a bit because I wasted the Q on the wave, it would have been a lot easier that way to fight him if I didn't waste my Q, but like, I was still in a really good spot because I already have double longsword and I had conquer pretty much stacked through it. Or actually, I wasn't stacked there, but I, I had enough on him that he can't bite me there as long as I fight in the wave because then he doesn't get the isolated Q and he's only level 3 Kha'Zix with no items so that's why I wasn't scared if, if he based and had a long sword I probably would have died there obviously except if I had Q if I had Q there's no way I'd ever die there but it still was fine uh it cancels her W her E I don't know actually it might it might cancel the animation I actually don't know how it works I forgot but um, her W jump, if she's trying to jump in the Q pulls as she starts her jump animation, from her W, it'll cancel the W and put it on CD. It's time to get violent. Weird. 
But yeah, I, I do think the Alawi matchup is pretty annoying though, for sure. Because like, if the Alawi player just doesn't hit you kills early, it becomes very hard to play. Because she just rushes Iceborne, right? And then she just does a shit ton of damage to you. But if you're able to get a lead like this early, it's not the worst. Especially if you can like space stuff like that where you're dodging the tentacle slams. Now that I'm actually like sidestepping though, I'm like, it just, she can't do anything, right? And just earlier I was misplaying a bit. I was getting hit by too many of them. That's why I, I had to trade one for one. Uh, I mean, it, it literally just depends on the player. Like there, there's even challenger players where I can just knowledge check them sometimes because they just don't play the matchup enough. It's very dependent on how experienced the player is in the matchup. I'd say consistently, it's probably once I get to like mid master is when it starts to become harder. But it still depends. It's just very dependent on the player itself. Or themselves. Everyone's different. I'm actually gonna stay here. This is very greedy because she's level 6. But yeah, as long as I don't get hit by the E, I'm chilling. I can help him here. I kind of want to base, but I, I can help him here if I have to. I'll just grab this plant. We can just play Grubs, honestly. I'm not even like too afraid to just base after these Grubs, because I don't think she's going to be able to shove away fast enough. The next wave is already coming in, so I can probably just base off these. Yeah, I'm just going to base. Because I have Huber schooled. I don't mind if I lose a little bit of XP because I'm so far ahead anyways. Yeah, for sure. But yeah, I think it'll start getting a little bit harder these games once I get to like... D2, D1, because that's when people start to like just like... Per momentum like boom. Maybe even higher, I don't know, it's hard to say. Like, even in Emerald, sometimes it can be hard games because, yeah, people start having egos and just start griefing if they fall behind. But, yeah. It's not too bad yet. I seem to not troll her once I get to those ranks because I've, I've been trolling a bit today in some of these games in terms of, like, making dumb mistakes that I usually wouldn't make. Just I'm kind of, like, limit testing a little too much or egoing it a little too much. Oh, she actually hit a knee. Dumb. Oh, poor guy. He thought he had it. He thought he got out of there. <laughs> I think that's the first E pull of the game, right? He's finally learning. I might not be able to actually just E forward like that anymore. He's always been delaying it way too long, so I've been able to just get away with it with spacing afterwards. But if he like NC starts throwing it as I start the dash animation, it'll always land. So you're just seeing what he does. In that play right there, I don't use my E2 because I want to keep the uh, true side on him. And also, if he jumps, then I can just follow him right. That's why I held my E. For you wondering for that one. One E after five deaths, yeah, it is what it is, you know, he's on the board at least. No one tells me what to do. I kind of want to just get this full turret before I base. It's very greedy, but he has no ult, so I think I should be fine. I especially, I just don't think Kha'Zix is going to come up here anymore. He's just probably too mental boom now, too. Oh my god, I'm terrible. Let's just take out this tentacle. Oh, he actually did come. Hm. Surprised.
Oh shit. Okay, well now I'm done. Cause I don't have my mount. Fuck. Okay, I didn't expect their talent to also be there, that's my bad. I got way too greedy. That's my fault. <laughs> I did not expect their talent to also just pull up. Oops. My bad. That was way too, way, way too greedy. Smurfs are ruining my games. <laughs> I mean, I don't usually like smurfing. That's why I haven't done an unranked Tachel in a long, long time. It's been like three years since I've done one. But with just how bad the split's been so far, I think it's the only way I'll actually be able to like potentially climb the split from Amar. And also, I've had so many people ask me over the years to do one. So I was like, I think it's finally time. Because, yeah, the last stream I did of solo queue, the game was just so miserable. I'm like, I'd rather play 90 games of like Aram and bots in three days to level an account than to um, play anywhere so lucky. Hey, you got it. I believe in you, Wald dude. Waldo dude. No! Planning and strategy split the best city folks do. Uh, I think what I'm probably gonna do is I'll just probably upload each VOD with like the matchup in the title and everything. But. I can, I can maybe start doing stuff like that in the future, but like I do like very short videos talking about like matchups and how it should be played, at least in my like, from my experience. Like I could try doing stuff like that in the future for sure. If people are interested in that kind of content. So I do want to start getting into some more educational stuff as well. Not just gameplay all the time, but I, maybe I, I could do something like that in the future potentially. Sounds like a good idea. Oh, I actually into it. I'm done. Oh shit, I actually into it. <laughs> My bad. I I've been like I'm like probo egoing her right now, trying to uh I just like bait out her E on top of her. I, I need to stop trolling. Uh, I usually always just go lethality when I'm playing the hard climb. I don't think Bruiser's like horrendous. It's just I think lethality is way better for solo queue. Cl uh, like. Being able to 1v9 games because it just snowballs way harder without uh the issue with bruiser in my opinion is it just doesn't do enough damage to where you can actually 1v9 games it's more team reliant and team dependent so that's why i just don't like it as much because you're very reliant on your team uh yeah i'd say majority of people probably are club players i mean i do have some people that don't really play club too much and they just enjoy watching club gameplay but i'd say a majority of my viewers are usually club players it's like that for like most like just OTP streamers. Build your community off of your champion itself, and then eventually, if you grow big enough, then you'll start getting people from other communities or other like mains coming over it. Oh my god! I actually didn't kill him. Wait, what? I did kill him. Wait, what? Wait, how? How did he die? Did the minion like shoot him or something? Wait, what? I thought he had like Death's Dance for a second. I look, he doesn't even have Death's Dance. That was the most delayed death I've ever seen. Okay. I guess I'm just hacking. I guess I'm just hacking. You've seen it live on stream. I'm just a. Peter Boy is just a scripter. GG. No. One HP. Alright, oh, Alright, we go LDR now. We'll LDR into probably Serpents, because I think a lot of you will go Sterix later. I want to get this tier 2 top and then I can move bot. Did he try to fight the Raptors? I actually have no idea what he was doing there, to be honest. I'm hoping my Alistar doesn't get one shot here. I see that like play away from all the tentacles. Oh my god, he almost actually died. He had to be careful there. 
You have to be very careful against Olawi's uh, ult if she has a tentacle grub, because then she just spawns in an extra tentacle rip. But even if you're like giga ahead, like, you still have to be very careful with those kind of things. Because you saw if, if I like instantly fought her there, I probably would have died. Once I get LDR, maybe I can get away with it because I'll have enough burst. I don't have enough burst yet. He has a gun cape. Oh shit. Alright, we're gonna get the turret in his face and then we can just dive him. Or not. Oh, I don't have my... Shit, I don't have my mount. I am trolling. Also, what happened to my wave? It instantly got one shot. And the one minion just like... Did not come. If, the, if my one minion didn't troll me... Or like it was so far away, I think I would have been able to just one-shot the turn and kill him at the same time. But I guess I should have just committed on him first. I didn't think he would actually just completely one-shot my wave. I'm just trolling. I am really just trolling here, I guess. Got a fatty build, sounds good. But yeah, no problem. I mean, I, I just fucked up though. That, that was my bad. I, I should have just instantly went on him there. I got greedy. I thought I could just get the turret in his face, but I guess he just one-shots the wave. That's just my bad. I've been kind of trolling this mid-game a little bit. Alright, this is going on him. He has no tentacles set up, so I'm not, like, that afraid. Oh my god, I missed the Q. Okay. I'm just gonna ignore him and get the turret here. Do the Q animation cancel on the wall there. Cause yeah, if you guys didn't know, if you if you Q next to a really thick wall that you can't go over, right on top of it, you can actually cancel your Q animation and get your next auto off really quick. So if you hug the wall like that, you can do that. A nice little mechanic you can do with dismounted club to remount quicker and burst people. Oh shit, he had barrier. Why does that guy have barrier? He just didn't go heal. Oh, I'm dead. Oops. Oopsies. Whatever, that's fine, I got the turret. Should have left the after the turret. Ah, uh, yeah, I like souls in a lot of games where I'm snowballing because it just gives you a lot more tempo in the game since you got the Baron recall, right? So you're saving an extra four seconds of recall time so you can get back on the map quicker. And also, once you fully stack the boots, you also just get a lot of free out of combat move speed so you can just move around the map quicker, right? And with the other boots like Tabby's and Mercs, they're just super expensive. And when you're playing the Lethality build, you're not really playing like an extended fight, right? You're playing to just assassinate people, so it's not really that needed. Unless it's like a very specific game where they have way too much CC to where you can never play. Or like they're all auto attack champs. Like, Sam, it was like a Trindomir with like a lot of other autors. Then there's an argument for Tabby's. But like, I don't think they're that needed for how expensive they are. But, I mean, it's more preference, too. Like, you can get away with going those boots, it's just you're delaying yourself from your other items, which is why, in the past, I usually, I used to not, like, not even go boots at all. Like, I just sit on tier 1 boots. But... I like it a lot against split pushers too though, mid game, because then I can like play through like side lanes or play with my team and then just instantly recall, right, and catch the wave. There's no point of even going on that talon top, because we can just get double in here and probably end the game. Facing there does nothing. I get ganked if you recall, true. Bro just got completely murdered. 
giving his teammate a level. That's funny. Poor guy. Oh, I, I thought that was my dem- Oh, shit. I just entered because I thought that was my demolish pro. I didn't Wait, no, it is. Wait, what? Wait, did my demolish bug? That was mine, right? It says zero second. Wait, wait, what? Wait, why did demolish not proc there? Is that? Unless it literally came up as I died. That's like so weird. Huh. I'm pretty sure I autoed after I went through, no? Like it was fully stacked? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm trolling. I don't know. I could have sworn I autoed though. Uh, we're playing in like plat, um, like plat two emerald elo now. Like the accounts, gold three, but these, I think the laner I was against this game was actually emerald four. So it's like mid plat, high emerald, or like or mid to high plat and like low emerald elo now. Oops. All right, we're gonna e flash on that guy so he can't ult. And there we go. But yeah, I have to e flash there just so Zillion can't react to ult himself, and then it's just a super free play. Oh, he's running away. No penta, GG. Oh. GG. Well, nice. I kind of trolled a little bit once I got super far ahead, but not bad. Still pretty cool.